Hey everyone, it's Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me, and I'm gonna show you how to make a chevron wave blanket. I am working with Bernat Super Value Yarn. I have a size H crochet hook. Uh, here's one I've already started. So this was a starting count of 110 uh, chains to begin with. Uh, it's about 24 inches wide. So it's definitely baby blanket size, it's small. So you can do it uh, bigger by making your starting chain multiples of 12 plus two. And I will be sure to write that down for you. So just to show you, let's do a starting chain of 38. So 12 times three is 36 plus two is 38. That should be enough to start showing you guys how this is. So I'm just making a little slip knot there. And then I'm gonna chain 38. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and 38, okay? Now what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna show you stitch by stitch, is make peaks and valleys. So we're gonna do uh, single crochet decreases and single crochet increases to make our peaks and our valleys. So here we go for your uh, starting row here. We are gonna make two single crochets in the second chain from hook. Okay, so two single crochets. Now we're gonna single crochet in the next four. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay, now we're gonna make our, our dip, our little valley there. So I'm gonna do what I'm calling a sing, uh, three single crochet decrease. So basically I'm working in the next three chains So I'm and making a decrease. So I'm inserting my hook, yarn over, pull through, two chains on my hook, inserting in that next chain, yarn over, pull through, three chain, or three loops on my hook, Go through one more chain, yarn over, pull, pull up. I have four loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through all of them for that three single crochet decrease. Now single crochet in the next four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you can already see we have a dip here. All right, now let's make the peak, the little top, and that's gonna be just three single crochets all in one stitch. So one, two, three. Okay, now let's do single crochet in the next four. One, two, three and four. Now let's make another dip. So I'm inserting the hook for a loop, inserting the next, inserting one more chain. Okay, four loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through for that decrease. Single crochet in the next four, one, two, three, four, okay, that's how it looks so far. Now let's make another one of these increases. Three single crochets all in one stitch. Single crochet in the next four. One, two, three, 
four. Let's do a decrease. Okay, single crochet in the next four. Okay, and then it brings us to our last stitch here, the last chain. You're gonna make three single crochets in the last one. All right, I'm gonna chain one and we're gonna turn. I'm just gonna lay this down real quick so you can kind of see. Um, you should already see your uh, chevron pattern take shape, just like this, you should have a zigzag. All right, now um, let's just do this again. So um, every time you turn, you're gonna skip that first stitch and you're gonna make two single crochets right in the next. That happens on every single row. Four single crochets. And then we're gonna make a single crochet decrease, that three single crochet decrease, right over the one we had before. Okay. Single crochet in the next four. And then three, so now we're at the top, three single crochets all in the same stitch. So you really don't have to count your stitches. You're just, well, you weren't, you're gonna wanna count four single crochets in between each peak and valley. Okay, so four single crochets. One, two, three, and four which brings us to our little valley here, which we're gonna do our single crochet decrease over three stitches there. Four single crochets to bring us to that top. Okay, three single crochets all in that top stitch there. Let's come back down, four single crochets to bring us down. All right, making our single crochet decrease. Four single crochets. And then it brings us to our last stitch and you're gonna do three single crochets all in that last stitch. One, two, three. Chain one, turn. Okay. Sorry guys. All right, so that's what it looks like. Okay, just as before, Skip that first stitch, two single crochets in the next. One, two, four single crochets. Brings us down to our three single crochet decrease. Four single crochets. Brings us to the top. Brings us to the top where we're gonna do three single crochets all in one stitch. Okay. Four single crochets. Brings us back down to our three single crochet decrease. Four single crochets. three single crochets all in one stitch, four single crochets. We're at our 
last decrease here. And again, this can be as long as you want. You just keep kind of repeating what we're doing here for as long as your uh, starting chain goes. Four single crochets to bring us to the last stitch. And three single crochets all in the last stitch if I can get my hook in there. I love these hooks. I got this from, um, these are clay hooks. Um, they're custom made. This one's by uh, Day by Day uh, Clay and Crochet. She has a uh, pay, private page on um, Facebook where you can order her crochet hooks. And I also get some of these from some other companies too off of Etsy. All right, chain one, turn. Skip that first stitch, two single crochets four single crochets. Now we're gonna do a decrease. You can see this is really taking shape now. Four single crochets to bring us back up to the top. Three single crochets all in one stitch. single crochets to bring us down just want to show you guys how that's taking shape okay let's do our decrease okay let's do four single crochets Three single crochets at the top. Four single crochets. Single crochet decrease. Four single crochets. And then three single crochets in the last stitch. Now, before we end this tutorial, I want to show you just how we would add in a new color. So, oops, so let's say we're gonna add in white. Um, let's just clip that off. Okay. So before I chain one there, I'm just gonna add in the end of my white yarn. Okay, turn, skip that first stitch, two single crochets in the next. There we go. Four single crochets to bring me down to that decrease. Okay, now let's make this decrease. Four single crochets, two, three, four, three single crochets all in one stitch. Hopefully you guys can really see it now that I've switched the color. Single crochet in the next four. Make that decrease. single crochet in the next four and then we're gonna make three single crochets all in the top ah. Two, three four single crochets all right let's do our decrease here Another four single crochets. And then three single crochets all in that last stitch. Okay, look at that. Okay, so there is our chevron pattern. 
keep going. Look, this this uh, might make a good um, hand towel or something. But anyway, you will probably make it much longer if you're gonna work on a blanket. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Pattern is on repeatcrafterme.com.